Welcome to the Chad Smith Show. It's a show where Chad Smith does whatever he wants with whoever he wants. Hopefully, he won't make your mother upset, and he'll talk about dramas with nice language. But then again, you just never know what will come out of his mouth. Consider yourself warned. Enjoy. Thank you so much. And, uh, first of all, uh, your name? Uh, Mauro Mar 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 Okay. And uh, you trapped in, how did you get involved with the Chili Peppers in the first place? Um, I, I met Flea first. We played on this band uh, together, this band that Tom York put it together called Atoms for Peace, that eventually became Atoms for Peace. And so we, we became good friends and we shared the same birthday, you know, so we were like, oh, wow. Like, so we strike a friendship, you know, and, and musically as well was like a, a good connection. And <clears throat> so when, I guess the, the Chili Peppers went to the studio to record basic tracks, they called me and said, hey, you wanna come and, you know, play with us? like. And I think was was special because it was wasn't like just doing overdubs, it was being part of the whole like part of the band. Yeah, part of the band recording like basic tracks and so you have I guess a a, 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 a stronger input on the on the on the rhythms and on the, the songs you know and then 
Did you think you were going to go out on the road? I, I didn't think, you know, because I, I, I saw Flynn New York like in May and he said, oh yeah, we are already rehearsing for the tour. And I was like, oh, yeah, that was sad. You know? <laughs> but then like a couple of weeks later, he sent me a text, hey, you want to come over? Let's do this. I was so happy. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty so, nice. Playing with Chad, uh, you know, oh, he's a drummer and, uh, and he does a lot of things with us on Drum Channel, you know, Drum Channel on the website. Right. Uh, and one of the comments that all of the other drummers have about him was what a great load or time feel or you know, how the pulse that he has with his eighth notes, how much they really swing. Right. Uh, and being from Brazil, right. you've got that background also. So, well, I think it's it's yeah. There is the the, the whole like he's quite a capable drummer, you know. Like he's really virtuoso and like powerful. And but what strikes the most is like how musical he is. You know, he's a drummer that plays to the music. Whatever he does, every little symbol, every it's like always to the music. You know, he's like. It's 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 quite amazing, you know, it's to see like such a, especially because he's really powerful and plays loud, but it's so into the music, and so it, it's it's such a pleasure, you know, it's like makes my life so easy, and sometimes I just talk like playing and just watch him doing his thing. You know? He said some great things about you in too. Uh, that's the way you because you kind of like mesh with him so much. Right, you know, one one of the, I, I guess one of the. As a percussionist, I have this thing when I come and play in a rock band. It's, it's a, I think in frequencies like high, mids, and lows, you know. And so I pay attention to what the drummer and the bass, usually the bass player, are doing, and I, I try to fit in a way that's just gonna add to the, the whole groove instead of like uh, fighting, you know, with mimicking something exactly that he's doing I'm just gonna copy exactly I think that's like just instead of adding and subtracts to the to the groove and so my, my my whole concept of playing with these guys is like finding I guess frequencies and rhythms that they are not touching and it's there because the music is really the Chili Peppers songs it's very rhythm oriented you know it comes from the vocals from the guitars and everything is like really rhythm oriented so it's a, just a matter of like finding a, a color that's not there yet in the palette and just feeling you know and it's interesting for young drummers because as you mentioned he plays so hard and so loud mm -hmm. a lot of drummers who just look at playing that hard and that loud think that's what they're supposed to do is play it hard and loud but how he does that is so musical yeah yeah it's a, i think the, f the, f the, the, the also the fact that Chad plays loud. It's uh, it's because you know playing for a big audience. It's like naturally, I guess for many years playing in stadiums and arenas. It's like you you. It seems like you have to project more, and naturally you start playing louder. And I think myself too. You know, like I've been in, in situations in mucus situations that I have to play really soft and kind of blending with with. I guess the room we are playing, but in this case, you know, I have to play a little bit louder to match their volume as well, and so it's a, it's a I think it's only just natural. So when you're, we we're going to go out on the road. Uh, you hadn't played all the songs before. You hadn't played their library before. Uh, do you right. do a lot of improvising the chat while you're playing? Like when you were doing the sound check. Oh yeah.
noticed that you were improvising a lot, playing back and forth. Yeah, I think you know it, 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 it's it's when you, I guess during the show actually it happens a lot, like just jamming, you know, some, I guess. Flea or Chad starts a groove and then we all jump in and make like a piece of music on the spot. So it happens quite a lot in the band. It was a surprise for me, you know, because it's like, wow, we're playing in front of like 14,000 people and then suddenly you start like jamming as, as if you're in the garage, you know, like rehearsing and it's quite, quite nice and I guess refreshing. It's not, there is not like a script, like a strict a script that you follow through, you know, like a, so it's, it's really nice because you can open up, you know, like improvise a little bit. And, yeah. and you've probably done tours where they're pop tours where you're playing the same songs. Like over and over. Wants to sound like a record, you know? Yeah, exactly, with the click and the Pro Tools loops. And, and it's so boring, you know? It's like, a, I guess it, it, it's, it's, a, it's something that people are using quite a lot these days, you know? Like, oh, there is like a, a vocal track that's in the record that we can just have like somebody press the, the button and it's gonna be like that and it, I don't know it sounds flat it doesn't no. it doesn't sound alive yeah, a lot of people yeah. just have to live with that in the drummers too there's no click track with the peppers oh no no it's no click and track Chad counts off most of the songs Chad counts most of the songs I think Flea has a few bass lines that he starts and and it, it you know if it's a little bit faster today it's fine you know tomorrow it might be a little bit slower or even faster and if the tempo in the middle of the song picks up and then drops down it's it's all natural you know it's like it's the excitement of coming to a chorus and then the relief of going to a verse and so it's only natural that music breeds up and down i'm so glad yeah. you said that because on drum channel i get to, to talk with and hang out with some of the best drummers in the world right uh, who are me thousands and thousands of records in their lifetime. Right. And it always gets back to what they have to do with the music environment the way it is now, because if you're playing with a click track, that can't happen. Yeah. And even interviewing somebody recently, and they, you know, what they wanted to do was even speed up the click as it went, because they wanted to try and get it somewhat organic, but it had to all be locked together because sure. everything was tied in. Right. When did you uh, come to the United States? Oh, I, I came in 1992. Uh, Born in Brazil? I was born in Brazil and all my life was just, I, I was born in the south of Brazil in a little city. Then I moved to an, a, a slightly bigger city in the south. And then I was courageous enough to move to Sao Paulo, which is the big city in Brazil. And it's like 20 million people, it's crazy. Uh, and I lived there five years before moving to New York City. And what brought me to New York was I attended Manhattan School of Music. Uh, I got a scholarship to go there and do a master's degree. And when I finished my master's, I, I started working, like right away I started working in New York City and the music scene. And so I decided to do my career in the United States. And so how many instruments do you play? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's actually, well, percussion, the percussion family is it's huge because there is so many different instruments all over the world. So as a percussionist, I try to collect as much as I can and put my hands on. Uh, I, a lot of instruments, <clears throat> keyboard a little bit? I, yeah, I play marimba and vibraphone. You know, I learned those in school. And so it's part of, we, we bring a little marimba on this tour. Uh, so there is a couple of songs, you know, that we bust that out. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah, Marimba with the Chili Peppers. It, it's actually in one of their songs they recorded um, "Sir Psycho Sexy." I think there is a little part that's like a Marimba. I was like, wow, we can do that. We can do that. Yeah, it's like hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then and, and I think on the new record also there was one song that I played Marimba on. So there was another reason to bring the Marimba, you know. So. Sometimes we play those songs. Who were some of your influences growing up in school? Right, I, I, well, Brazilian music since I was since I was basically two years old. You know, my my parents had records at home, and going to soccer games in Brazil. You know, there was a lot of drumming in soccer stadiums, and that was like that was actually what decide what made me like be a musician. I think and like little age when I was five and until I was like 15 that I went like 
weekly to soccer stadiums that I was like in contact with drummers, you know, like playing samba music. That was really made me like, okay, I want to do that. And that was like really brought me emotions and things that I had never felt before. Um, so Brazilian music, and then when I guess I started studying and understand more of like the, the, the concept of percussion, uh, I really like Nana Vasconcelos. That uh, it's he's from I stayed in Recife, in the northeast of Brazil. Uh, he I think he lived for many years in Europe. Then he was was living in New York City, and I had I had the chance to meet him. I think a couple of times he came to his house. So he we talk about a, a lot about like the concept of percussion. You know, he explained to me this idea of like thinking in frequencies like high mids and lows and how to combine instruments and make up grooves and things like that so it was and i listening a lot of his recordings i, I could figure out exactly what he was doing you know so it was like a good a good you know opening opening door to to the world of percussion I have to invite you whenever. Where do you live? In Brooklyn, New York City. Okay. But you get to LA from time to time? Uh, yeah, more and more and more often. You know, I'm coming and enjoying more LA. I've got to invite you to come out to Drum Shannon when you're in the Los Angeles area. Sounds? I would love to. Terry Bozio would love to meet you. Oh, he, that sounds great. Terry works with me uh, yeah, yeah. every day when he's not traveling. Right. And he has quite a little percussion rig now, too. But oh, yeah, he had something to his drum set? Well, he has his drum set, but um, when, when drummers come in and we do live shows and he'll play with them and they do jams, oh. he's come up with this percussion setup that he plays. He's just added some pedals to it, so it's starting to grow. Oh, nice. But of course, he has his drum set, and with you being percussion, if you want to jam with him, he would love that. Wow, I'd yeah. love to. He would, yes. he would have such a good time. Yeah. Uh, so, and I know, you know, we could talk forever here because I've got a lot of questions for you. You've got a job to do tonight. I've got a job to do tonight, <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, uh, we're going to film the first three songs. So oh, that's we'll, great. We'll get a little bit of it from, from backstage. Sounds good. And then I'll, uh, I'll be in touch with you so that you can come out and, uh, and see what we're doing. I think you'd really get a good kick out of it. Yeah, you know, what an interesting story. You know? Yeah. I think you'd be oh. you're back in, in Brazil. You're on the road with the Chili Peppers. You know, I come from a little city that's like 25,000 people. You know, it's it's so like remote, and it's really like even in Brazil, it's like people don't don't know about this place. So when I played with the Chili Peppers, I did this interview uh, for uh, in Brazil when we went there. I did this little interview for like a newspaper in Sao Paulo, and I mentioned my hometown. You know, I said, "Oh, I'm from Joaçaba," and then like the next day, I got an email from the mayor of the Joaçaba. I said, "Oh my God, somebody's talking about our city." You know, <laughs> so it's it's really I had no idea. I would have never imagined something like that happening to me. You know, so I'm really grateful. That. Yeah. <laughs> Play us out a little bit here, and thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Oh, yes. We'll see you on stage in a few minutes. It sounds good.
with Chad? Been with Chad about 13, almost 14 years. Yeah, I know. More than just a tech gig. More than a tech gig, I do. I started to progress over the years. I started playing one song maybe five years ago. Then the next record, I started playing two or three songs. And now on this tour, I seem to be playing on every other song, it seems like. So I haven't let it affect my drum teching gig, I, I hope. But, uh, While you're still teching. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Is this one of the songs you're supposed to be playing on? Uh, it could, it could okay. possibly okay. be. Chad if we could get a quick little bite for uh, Facebook and I got quite the surprise of my life so you'll see me totally speechless and also uh, turning three shades of red. Be real short. Okay, ready? Ready. Hi I'm Will Farrell. Like sands in the hourglass. It's the drum channel. Quiet. Shh. Ready? Ready? Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. You ready, you ready now? Yeah let's do it. Oh now? Yeah. Now? We're rolling. Oh we're rolling. Yeah. Now? Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, hold on. Longer, longer. Okay, no, 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 okay, yeah. Where are we? <laughs> oh, now, are you ready now? Now. Now? Yeah. Now. Definitely. Oh, where, where are we? We're, we're in San Diego. You're supposed to be doing this. <laughs> are we doing, are we now? Are doing this right now? Oh, this is... Chili Peppers. All oh, right. Who? Chicken Peppers? Yeah. Concert, backstage, filming, drum channel. Do I have to fill in all the gaps kind of here? Yeah, there, it's, there we go, right, okay. That's obscene. Well, that's all right. Oh! 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 Now I know I'm backstage. The fun is only, wait till after the show. Don, there's a pole in the back, you can't see there's a pole. Don, me and Don are going to do a little pole dance. All right? We'll do it, guys. Check it out. Don't miss it. Don't miss it.